And now for by far the most spiritual of all of the monthly mentor modules, and that is my life mission. In other words, what are you here for? This is not a religious presentation, it's a spiritual and a goal-setting presentation, but let's just talk about religion just for a moment and you'll see why. Every religion around the world asks the same three questions. Where did I come from? What am I doing here? Where am I going next? And each different religion is characterized by different answers to those same three questions. Now, this is not a religious presentation, but I do want to look at the middle question, question number two. What are you doing here? Certainly you're not here to, to push through rush hour and get some assignments done and then push through the return rush hour and have a beer over dinner and go to sleep. Certainly that's not what you're here for. And yes, you have some children and yes, it's important to, to bring them up wholesomely, so that's a good one, but there's more than that. There's more than just having children and having a good home life. What is it? Well. In this lesson, My Life Missions, you're going to learn, you're going to be able to identify what your own life missions are. And you've probably seen corporate mission statements, which have given a very bad name to mission statements because they're so long-winded and they're, they're just useless. They say, we attempt to be everything to everybody and sell only the best products to only the best customers and, and our investors are the happiest. And it just goes on and on and on and it just empty fuffery because you could take that off the wall and show it to every employee in the company and they'll say we've never seen it before so there's not really much point to it but in the monthly mentor program you're gonna write a mission statement your life missions in such a way that you'll remember it for the rest of your life and it'll completely change your life it'll redirect you it'll make you more focused because you'll be doing what you came here for remember question number two why am I here you'll be doing more of what you came here for and when you do that on your deathbed you won't say the big oops you see when you're lying in bed and you're old you're in your 80s or 90s and this is your last days or near your end you look back on your life, I don't want you to say the big oops. I don't want you to say, gee, I shoulda, I, I wish I coulda, I wish I did. Instead of the big regrets, I want you to say, yes, I know why I was here, and I did what I was here for. I pushed myself forward along those lines, and I have no regrets. I have pride in the life that I led. Well, you can only have pride in the life that you lead if you know where you're going. So what you have to do is imagine your life backwards and then live it forward. Imagine your life backward and live it forward. What do I mean by that? Well, if you know what your mission statement is, missions like the horizon, where you want to go to. Of course, you never get to the horizon. No matter how fast you go, you can never get to the horizon. And that's like a mission. You, know, you never want to achieve it. It's not like hitting a sales quota or losing five pounds. It, it's not something you actually get to. It's just something you head towards. So when you head towards your mission, you, you have a vision first of what your mission is and you go there forward. But you first have to go to the end, look back and decide what you want your life to be about. And once you've decided what you want your life to be about, you then simply live it forward to get there. So we've already done in a previous module the annual love letters. Annual love letters is our loves, it's where we come from. And our mission is where we're going to. When you come from your loves and go to your missions, then you have a very narrow and clean path to follow. Now, why is that wonderful? Because everybody out there is complaining there's so much noise, there's so much confusion, I don't know what to do, there, there's just so many options, there's a hundred million websites, there's a thousand channels on my television, there's hundreds of radio stations I can get, I don't know what to do. There's just so much noise that people are flustered. But... I don't have that kind of life. I have a calm, clear life. I do only what I love, and I go only towards my life mission. And so I have a clear, narrow path. Now you might say, well, I'm not there. I, I'm not doing only what I love, and I don't know what my life mission is. That's true. But in the previous module, you at least got an uncensored list of all of your loves, and now you can work each month to do more of what you love and less of what you don't love. However, even more so, in this lesson, My Life Missions, in one, in one module, in one session, it'll take you no more than, say, half an hour, you're going to be able to identify your life missions in such a way you'll remember them easily. 
here's the proof. I'm going to tell you my three life missions. And I bet we could bump into each other 10 years from now and I say, quick, what are my three life missions? And you'll know them immediately because they're brief. It's actually three life missions and each one is only two words long. Now yours may not be two words long, they might be one or three or four, but very small number of words and always three life missions. Why three? Because humans are more complex than just one mission and humans are not that capable of handling 10 or 20 or 100 life missions. It's too much. It's, it's too much to handle. It's too much for a lifetime. And what I've found mentoring tens of thousands of people around the world for over a quarter of a century is that three is the number. Now here we go, I'm going to tell you my three. Great dad, great husband, and great mentor. Great dad, great husband, great mentor. Now here's the interesting thing. For over 10 years, I was looking for the woman of my dreams, and I hadn't found her. I have now found her and I'm very, very happily married. <clears throat> but for all those years that I was looking for the woman of my dreams, my life mission was still great husband. And so I kept looking for her. I kept doing those things I needed to do to find her and I found her. I have two wonderful daughters and now I have three granddaughters and I'm fulfilling great father. So is my life over? No. Have I done everything I need to do? No. But I know where I'm going. I'm going towards great mentor. I'm going towards great husband. And I'm going towards great father all the time. That's what's important. Now you do the exercise and find out what your three life missions are so that you know what your life's about, so you can figure out what it's about and then, and then live it forward into that.